To write the formula for cobalt to phosphide, we first need to write the element symbols. So for cobalt on the periodic table, that's CO. Make sure you have a lowercase o so it doesn't look like carbon monoxide. For the phosphide, this IDE here, that means we're going to have a single element. So we'll just have P, that phosphorus atom. If this were ATE, that would mean it were a polyatomic ion, or ITE. Those would be polyatomic ions that you would look up on a table of common polyatomic ions. But just IDE, that's our P there. So we have the element symbols. Because we have a metal and a nonmetal, this is going to be an ionic compound. We need to take the charge into consideration. So for cobalt, it's a transition metal, and the 2, that tells us the charge. So we can just put a 2 plus up here for cobalt. Phosphorus, let's look that up on the periodic table. Phosphorus is right here below nitrogen, 3 minus. So we can put a 3 minus here for the phosphorus. So we have the charges for cobalt 2 phosphide, for the elements in cobalt 2 phosphide. Because cobalt 2 phosphide is neutral, it doesn't have the word ion out here, we need to consider the charges. They need to be balanced. We need a net charge of 0. It's a little bit difficult because we have a 2 plus and a 3 minus. Let's use the crisscross method to make that a little easier. We'll move the 3 here and the 2 here. Get rid of these symbols. And this is the formula for cobalt 2 phosphide. Let's check our work, though. We said cobalt. That was going to be 2 plus. We looked up phosphorus, 3 minus. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. Add these two up. You get zero. Net charge is zero. So this is the correct formula for cobalt 2 phosphide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.